Hey, it's arrived. Only one day shy of four weeks ago being ordered. <laughs> that was quick, U.S. Mint. Hey, everyone. Silver Steeler here. And Winning Image Photography. So, yeah, that one took a while. Let's read them why it took a while. Found this on Facebook, and it says, and I'll read it to you. It has come to our attention that some of the duplicate COAs intended for replacement were inadvertently used in assembling the product 20XB. Shipping is being delayed while we inspect the product to ensure that the numbered COAs are not duplicated. We expect to begin shipping December 7th. This was November 17th. Mm -hmm. Well, man, that took a long time when they have to open up every single one of these things. And I haven't seen a video out on these yet. You know, we took it out of the box to spare you all the noise. <laughs> and we brought out the one single reverse proof of the Mayflower that the U.S. Mint had out. That we weren't exactly, well, I wasn't totally thrilled with. The design is a little bit, in my opinion, boring. So you take it out of that sleeve. You got it in a standard commemorative type box that the U.S. Mint does them in. That looks a lot like the other one. It does. A lot like the other COA. Mm -hmm. And these are numbered COAs. This is the one set that has a number, which is... On ours, we found this because we have inspected this. Our number is, what is it, 1,942? 1,642. So I guess they are numbered. Obviously, I'm not going to send this one in for grading. Winning has a set coming to her that we're going to leave in a box. And uh, we promised somebody that we can sell it to them. So the, they made 9,200 of these. And I'm not sure if that includes the British version that's going out over there. I would think not, but heck, I don't know. 1620 to 2020. And there they are. Why don't we take a look at what I think is probably going to be the better one. This is the coin. Yes, this is the coin. And it has an actual Mayflower ship dominating the piece <laughs> about the Mayflower. Yes, how, how nice is that? And you of know? course the queen. And two pounds signifying the value of a coin as opposed to metal. Not bad, I like it. Yeah, not bad at all. It's certainly gonna look, in my opinion, oh wait, is this one glued in? Oh, no, I'll get it, maybe. Yeah, Tear the, the whole up. thing up. Am I tearing the box up? Well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna be too disappointed with this set. You know, I think I actually like it better in proof than I do the reverse proof. It might be weird saying it that way, but... Now, there's the tiny ship. See, it does have a ship, and it's back there. Way back there. I know. It just... Insignificant. Which one do you like better? Right. In this case, I like the regular proof better. I like the mirroring better. Mm-hmm. And I'm usually a big fan of reverse proof. I really am. But... And I'm not... I'm not... It's not catching me on the reverse proof. Not that the design here isn't boring, because look, there's pumpkins on this side that are as big as the ship on the other side. And it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't do anything for me. The design, I mean, it's got two different designs, unlike, of course, the, you know, you know what you're going to have on this one, on one side, guaranteed. But at least they, like you said, dominated it with the ship. Well, well going forward, when it comes to... Buying from the U.S. Mint, I'm going to be a player in the month of November because it seems like that's when they try to come out with their numismatic gimmicks, as I like to say. And maybe you can capitalize on that and make some money. I did eventually sell my two V75 silvers for 400 bucks a piece. So I won't be having those, but, you know, in my collection. But that was a flip for me. I'm not flipping this set, obviously. I'm keeping it in there. But for 150 bucks, I don't know. Not really that great, so if I see these kind of gimmicks next November, I won't do it. But going forward, no more proof sets, proof eagles, all the other stuff the Mint puts out. They just well, went too high in price. If the silver proof set next year is coming out 
with only one quarter like they think it might be. Who knows what the U.S. meant, though. Yeah, that is a significant price increase for less quarters. Because, mm-hmm. what, five to one, and they increased it. Well, everyone, I don't know. I wasn't a really big fan of this, and I'm not really that impressed now, if you can't tell. Uh, disappointing, really. All right, everyone, well, you have a Merry Christmas out there. <laughs> and it's going to bring this one to a close. Remember to like, subscribe. And all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye.